everybody. So I'm here with one last video for my Meet the Babies playlist um, because I realized there was a couple of dolls that I don't think I did video of unless I did it a long time ago, but I don't know if I ever did. So basically I'm going to show you three remaining dolls, two of which are porcelain and one of which is a Ashton Drake vinyl mini. So we're gonna start off with the first porcelain doll. And I honestly don't remember how old I was when I got this doll, but I'm gonna take a guess and say that I was about, oh, 11 or 12. And she was a gift to me from my mom, a surprise gift. And again, I can't really remember what the occasion was. I don't know if it was my birthday or if it was just one of those just because gifts. Um, Cause sometimes my mom would just get me gifts for no reason. <laughs> um, you know, whether it be to celebrate a milestone in my life or you know, to cheer me up or something. The odd time she would get me something like that throughout the year. It wasn't every year, but... So I can't fully remember the occasion, but I'm gonna say I was about 11 or 12. And she is actually by Ashton Drake. She is a fairy, and she's wearing this beautiful pale yellow dress that has lace around the collar and the sleeves. She has a little blue bird on her finger, on her thumb, perched there, and he has a red breast. And this doll has a big happy smile, blue eyes, cute little eyelashes. I'll show you up close, hopefully you can see. She's got dark brown, short, curly hair. And actually, I'm sorry, she's not a fairy, she's an angel because she has a halo on top, as you can see, a gold halo. And she has white, uh, sort of like translucent wings with little glitter polka dots on it. And I'm just gonna move my little sock monkey out of the way for a second. She's got, her left leg is bent sort of inward, and the right leg is kind of sticking out. She's in a sitting position. And I'm gonna turn her a little bit here, and she has this sweet little um, bracelet on her right wrist and it's a gold bird and it says happiness. So she is the angel of happiness. And she, like I said, she was a gift from my mom and uh, I kept her all these years. So that was one of the first, I think it was the first porcelain doll I ever had. Um, I did have a couple of more afterwards, but I got rid of them over the years because I kind of lost interest in porcelain dolls. But let's move on to the next one. So the next porcelain doll is Anne of Green Gables. She is an official Anne of Green Gables doll. Um, as you guys probably know, I'm sure I've mentioned it before, I'm a huge Anne of Green Gables fan. I love the 80s version of the movie with Megan Follows. Um, that's where I was introduced to Anna Green Gables and my mom, my grandma and I, we used to watch the movies all the time when I was a kid. And I mean, even to this day, I almost know all of the movies line for line <laughs> because I've watched them that many times. And basically where I got her was, I believe I got her in 2008 which was the year before Alex and I got married. And it was our first year living here. We had moved here in July of 2008. And we went to the exhibition, the Toronto Canadian, or the, sorry, the Canadian Ec National, oh my gosh, I can't talk. The Canadian National Exhibition in August of that summer. And that year they had an Anne of Green Gables exhibit going on. Uh, because I think it was some kind of an anniversary with Anna Green Gables and so I had to go to the exhibit and they had all kinds of 
memorabilia and artifacts and like just everything from the author sorry about that my phone is going off I forgot to put it on silent <laughs> oh my goodness hold on guys sorry about that sometimes I forget to put my phone on silent before I start filming but anyways um yes so we went to the exhibit I loved the exhibit and then of course they had a little shop set up with all kinds of Anne of Green Gables merchandise and I saw this porcelain doll and just had to have her um she is she's got her uh straw hat she's got her long red hair and the two braids and she has this beautiful floral dress with her green I don't know what you would call that smock over top she's got her carpet bag she's got her black boots and she's on a stand that says Anna Green Gables with a gold plate and I've kept her hang tag on her um, it is it says the Idlewood collection Anna Green Gables and um, so it just talks about Anna Green Gables in that and this was designed in Canada by Avonlea Traditions Inc in Newmarket Ontario so yeah I just I had to get her and add her to my collection because I just love Anna Green Gables and she is porcelain so that is the second doll I wanted to show you guys. Let's move on to the, the final one. Okay, so the final baby is this little teeny tiny baby. Um, she is not the most attractive baby, I will say. Um, Ashton Drake, especially their vinyl dolls, are notorious for looking way better in their catalog advertisements. Um, than they are in person. Let me just say that right out there. I used to have some of their, um, the Ashton Drake real touch babies, like the, f almost like reborns, and they were nothing <laughs> like the picture. Um, and in fact, I've had lots of issues with Ashton Drake dolls in the past, which is why I moved on from them. Um, the one, like I've had issues with the vinyl going gray or black or yellow for no reason and other people have had the same issue too so I personally myself from my own experience and from experiences that I've read of other people on doll fan I personally do not recommend Ashton Drake dolls just because like the vinyl ones I mean um just because you never know if you're going to get this issue of the vinyl changing color over time and the sad part about it is usually when it happens to people it happens after the warranty has run out so when you call Ashton Drake your warranty has run out so they literally will do nothing for you um, they will they will not refund you they will not replace they will do nothing at all about it thankfully this baby has not had any issues with vinyl changes um, but her face looks nothing like it did in the ad but Regardless, I, lo I love this baby for a few reasons. The main reason I wanted this baby was because she came with Care Bears stuff. Um, so she's wrapped in a little hooded blanket. So it has little bear ears. It's pink and white. And it has a rainbow and it says have a rainbow day. And then her outfit is little pink shorts and then a long sleeve white top that has um, the pink Care Bear Cheer Bear and it says Cheer Bear and um, so she is Cheer Bear Baby uh, sculpted by Cheryl Hill and I got her from Alex for Christmas of 2010 so she is officially a Christmas baby she was born December 25th 2010 and so I have kept her just because Alex got her for me and you know he the only two dolls he's ever gotten me is this one and my American Girl kit and so just the fact that he's bought me dolls <laughs> like anytime he gets me a doll I am like 
so excited and ecstatic that he bought me a doll so I will keep them forever and ever um but she has her mouth open she's got two little bottom teeth she just does her face just is weird um she has this crazy hair which is why I always keep her uh hooded blanket on it's the glued on hair it's kind of like um a strawberry blonde color very sparse <laughs> she's just and she has blue eyes but I just I find her expression a little odd um like I said she she looked a heck of a lot cuter in the catalog and it was so funny when I got her that Christmas because <laughs> Alex did not expect her to be this small and he, he could not believe the price of such a tiny baby like she is under 10 inches tall she is I can't remember the exact measurements, but I'm going to take a guess and say she's probably, I don't know, like maybe five or six inches. She's very, very teeny tiny. Um, and, you know, like her little legs are really cute. Um, so for a while I did have them set out like this, but I like to um, keep her wrapped up because, well, for one thing, it helps with the dust. But also, like, you know, I want to be able to see it, say, have a rainbow day on the blanket. Um, I mean, I guess I could fold it up like that, but it looks kind of weird that way. I kind of wish they had printed that on the opposite side so I could leave it open like that. But anyways, she generally um, just stays kind of wrapped up like that so that I can see the have a rainbow day thing and I can also see her Care Bear shirt and her bare ears because she's just, you know, Care Bears. So, um, she, she's cute. She's just not exactly what I was expecting and Alex was expecting a much larger doll for the price that he paid. I think she was like, oh my gosh, probably $60 <laughs> for this teeny tiny thing and he was thinking, you know, because he doesn't really know anything about the prices of these kind of dolls and stuff. So he just didn't realize <laughs> when he got the box in the mail, he said, he looked at it and was like, what the heck is this? <laughs> so I, you know, I said to him, I said, no, honey, I knew that it was going to be a tiny baby. I knew the size. I, I was aware of that. Um, but I said, I just like the Care Bear aspect <laughs> Of her. I just think she's cute and like I said she is special to me even though she doesn't look as nice as the catalog um, she's still really special to me because I love Care Bears and she's a gift from my husband and I just love that he got me a doll regardless so um, uh, she's gonna stay she's she's a keeper um, <laughs> and I mean she's so tiny she doesn't take up much space anyways so it's not a big deal so anyways guys yes that is finally it that is my entire collection of dolls for you guys if you haven't seen the other videos of my uh, other dolls uh, I always link to the meet the babies playlist in the description of every single one of my doll break videos so you can always find it there if you want to one day go and learn about all the dolls in my collection and who their artists are and where I got them from and things like that so I hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you did and we'll see you next time bye guys